everybody this is the moment you've all been waiting for and that I've been waiting for uh, what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna change out my transmission fluid I've been wanting to do this for a long time and after doing a bunch of research uh, I narrowed down the the right way that for me and the easiest way for me to do this job so uh, that's this is my own personal method uh, there's, there's like three or four other ways you can do it but this is the way that I decided to do it so what you're gonna need first is transmission fluid, filter, kit. You're gonna want something to measure your transmission fluid. So once you drain it, you're gonna measure it. You're gonna wanna use, you're gonna wanna get a, a funnel to fill it back up. So you're gonna need a 14 millimeter and an eight millimeter. And then you're gonna need various uh, tools to remove the air box and the battery so that we can get to the filter. So, um, that's the basic uh, set of tools you're gonna need. You're gonna need something to drain your oil into. Preferably you want it empty so that you can measure the oil uh, once you drain it. So you want it nice and empty and clean as possible. Then obviously something like uh, a drip pan. So let's get started. All right, so to get to the filter, you gotta get this out of the way, the air box, and you have a diesel battery. So it looks like this housing needs to come out. So we gotta take this screw off, bink, and this one right here. And then this hose just slides off. You just grab it and move it by hand. So you wanna get this housing out, but this is, all this is in the way. So we're gonna take this out, and we're gonna pull this guy out, and then there's something else holding it down below. I don't know yet, so we'll see. Gotta pull it up hard. I was afraid I was gonna break something. Just pull it up and it comes out. You can leave this hole as a tax, I guess. And you can see the transmission filter. The 
filter is back there. See a little black cap? Make the black cap with the... That's a transmission filter, the housing. So we gotta get to back there. That's why we gotta remove all this over here. So this was holding it down, so I just had to pull it up. I was just afraid to break it. So you just pull the filter up, peek, it'll just lodge here. So now we're gonna take the battery and the battery housing out. All right, so I'm gonna drain the fluid and the way I'm doing it I'm doing it a little different I'm just I'm just jacking up the front so I got my rhino ramps and I'm not making this even because I'm not gonna use the traditional method so I'm jacking up the front just so that I can get to the the, the drain plug on the transmission which is right here it's a 14 millimeter uh, uh, head 14 millimeter bolt boom we're going to take that out and then we're going to take a drain plug out. Or the fill plug. And the reason why I'm doing it this way is because I'm not going to fill it from down here. I'm actually going to fill it from the top. And I'm just going to put back as much oil as I take out. So whatever I get out, that's exactly what I'm going to put back in. I'm going to measure it. Um, so there's no need to get it jacked up and get it even and run it. So uh, I'm going to see if I can set up my camera, but... For now, I'm just gonna drain that, pull it out.
we're going to replace this washer. And so now we're going to take out the fill plug that's in there. It's an eight millimeter, according to the book. plastic so it didn't require a lot of force. So we're gonna put the drain plug the filler plug back in. This guy right here. It's plastic, so it doesn't require a lot of force. You don't want to cross thread it. So just make sure you put it in there, the threads in the right way. How tight do you want to get? Just want to get real shitty with it. That's the torque spec. Real shitty. You want it nice and tight. Alright, there we go. Alright, so. Next is the filter. There's gonna be some oil in there, so we're gonna get some rags, put them on there. Get some light so I can see what the heck I'm doing. It's already loose, so we're just going to pull it off by hand. So we're going to clean this out. Awesome part is that this 
nipple fit perfectly inside there. And I'll, I'll show you what it looks like. Man. So that nipple fit perfectly inside of there. And that's how we're gonna fill it. We're gonna do the top fill. So I'm just gonna set this up so that it's sturdy. I don't like the way it's set up right now. So now I need to figure out how much oil I'm gonna put back in. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure it. Here's what I pulled out. I'm gonna measure how many liters I got. And that's exactly how much I'm gonna put back in. All right, so I got four liters. I dumped it out and now I have, this is four and a half. And with what I spilled, I'm gonna go with four and three quarters. This would be five. So I'm gonna go four and three quarters and that's exactly how much I'm gonna put back in. Boom, four and three quarters. All right, so I'm going with four and a half, four and three quarters. There's no rush. This is gonna pour nice and slow. This actually has a shut off valve, so if you turn this to the right, you shut it off. Turn it to the left, it opens it up, so let's make sure it's open. It's gonna pour nice and slow. There's no rush. No rush. Alright, the, the oil fill went well. I lubed this up a little bit more. Here's the filter. So the opening's gonna go down. Gonna snap in, you're gonna feel it, you're gonna be able to turn it so it snaps in and then you can move around. And so now we're gonna put this back in and you do not want to cross thread this or this will leak. So be gentle when you put it back in and just by hand very easily spin it. And you can tell that it's not cross thread because it goes all the way down by hand very easily. And honestly, that's that's kind of all you want to do. I mean if you want, you can kind of you get a wrench and just give it a tiny little tug. I'll do but you don't want to go too hard at all it's 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 good it's plastic it, it's been mated and I would say just give it a little little snug that's it you're good
right, so everything's put back together. And before we get it off the ramps, we're gonna run it through each gear. So for three seconds, that's what the book says. So we're gonna start the, the I wanna say locomotive, because that's what I work on. <laughs> we're gonna start the car and we're gonna run it. We're gonna leave it in park for three seconds. And we're gonna go through each gear for three seconds, put it back in park. We're gonna go down, check for leaks while it's running. And then we're gonna test drive it. Here we go. So three seconds in park. Reverse. Neutral. I, I just remember saying that in the car. Is it? Sorry, a podcast came on. Drive. Yes. And then we're gonna go back. Drive. Neutral. Reverse. Park. And just because I'm a, I'm afraid, we're gonna go through it again. This is actually the first time I've ever done uh, transmission fluid, so. We're gonna go through everything again. And I did the oil too, right before this, I actually did the engine oil, so I'm gonna reset the oil. I already checked for leaks on that though. So back to drive. I'm actually looking forward to test driving it. Reverse. And last but not least, park. And let's go check for some leaks. All right, if you look right above the battery, you can actually see the filter housing, boom, right there. So you can get a good look to see if there's any leaks coming from there. And if there is, you wanna get that back out, or maybe you put the, you mess up that O-ring. So just go down there, get a look. If you don't see any oil, then you're good to go. See any oil leaking? Um, so we're gonna go for a little test drive. There are a bunch of lights on in my car though. Hopefully, they go away because the battery. And I'm just gonna go nice and slow. I didn't put the splash guard back in because uh, I'm gonna check for leaks again once we get back. So, all I wanna do is I wanna feel how this transmission goes through each gear. It feels pretty smooth already with the. Uh, new oil from the engine oil so I'm gonna hit the streets right now and see so this is my way of doing it um, I've I did a lot of research I looked at all the different ways that you can go about doing it with the gravity fed using the the, the, the Volkswagen approved plug and uh, and I and then you know taking the fill plug out the drain plug and then running it so you can make sure that you didn't overfill it. I saw all those videos and you know, I have the book from Volkswagen and it says to do it that way. But honestly, I just think that this is the easier way. Um, I mean, this is factory filled, so I'm positive that it's not overfilled or underfilled already. I didn't have any leaks, so I know that the oil is at the proper, appropriate level. And by measuring it and putting back exactly what I took out, it should be filled properly, so. Feels good. Honestly, my, my transmission felt pretty good and the oil didn't look too bad when I was draining it, so. Um, I don't feel too much difference. It feels good, but all the lights, all the check engine lights are, are out, they're gone, so that's good. So this feels good. Uh, like I said, when I get back, uh, I'm gonna check for leaks and then I'll put the splash guard in and I will call it a day. The job went pretty good. Uh, I think this whole process took me about three hours because I did the engine oil as well. 
So engine oil, transmission fluid. And it probably would have went a little easier, a little faster if I wasn't filming. That kind of made it harder, but uh, yeah, man. So far, so good. All right, so I'm gonna pick up some speed. Have it go through some gears. Good. This car feels good. It's shifting. It's shifting well. It's smooth. And I like it. So, like I said, this is my way of doing it. You can do it however you want. Uh, this way was the cheapest and the easiest. And all I had to do was buy like a measuring a measuring cup at the funnel. That's it. I didn't have to buy the gravity fed plug and all that jazz. So uh, for me this was the easiest way. But you know do your own research, look around to and you know pick and choose the way that you want to do it. And also this is easier because I didn't have to jack up the, the back end either. I could just use my rhino ramps. And uh, so that made it a whole lot easier because if you're doing the gravity fed method have to um, you have to jack up the back as well make it even and then start the car and go underneath the car while it's running while it jacked up uh, while all four wheels are jacked up and I didn't feel comfortable doing that so this is the safest way not only was this the easiest it was also the safest way for me personally and uh, I'll, I'll do another video in about a month or a week or so I'll let you know how running Let's see if the, my transmission took a dump on me I doubt it but I guess you never know man. so all right man good luck if you like this video it helped you out shoot me a message let me know if you have any questions uh, shoot me a message I'll be happy to answer anyone and uh, 